You made it back, my beautiful, lovely, strong ass friends. I can't wait for today's session because we're gonna be working on a kettlebell workout for our legs and for our lower body that is gonna build you massive strength, endurance, depending on how you work on it. If you wanna go for hypertrophy, if you wanna go for a mix between muscle endurance and hypertrophy, or if you wanna go full endurance, that's totally up to you. I'm gonna go through the exercises and at the very end, we'll discuss how, when, what and where. If you're ready, let's get right into it. Starting with the first one, the sumo single hand deadlift. For this one we want to stand wider than shoulder width apart, we want to grab with one single hand and we're going to switch to the other one between every single repetition. Now keep in mind that we want to pull the kettlebell to the other side of the body. So if you're grabbing with your left arm, you pull to the right side and vice versa. Because with this one, at least we have a little bit of added activation in our chest musculature. You also have to stay very upright in your upper body, meaning your lower back, your spinal erectors are flexed during the entire exercise. So your back doesn't round and so you don't fall into spinal flexion. So we stay in spinal extension during the entire exercise, keep our back straight. You may lean a little bit to the side, but other than that, that's basically it. Then we move to the classic sumo deadlift. And for this one, we just grab with both hands. Now, this is gonna relax our upper body. All we need to use is our grip strength. And other than that, most of it comes from our legs and from our lower back. Our quadriceps is pushing away from the ground and our lower back is keeping us as upright as possible. Now, if you have problems with range of motion, you don't need to work your way all the way to the ground. If you don't, however, increasing the range of motion of any exercise, of course, is beneficial and is going to increase the amount of gains you get from them. Then we move over to a conventional deadlift, which means that we're going to stay shoulder width apart. We're going to keep our feet parallel and and we're gonna just open our knees slightly to the side. This is just for mobility's sake, so we have enough space to move down all the way. And with this exercise, it's exactly the same. You want to keep your spinal erectors as tight as possible, so you stay fully upright during the entire exercise. Also, don't pull your shoulders up at the top of the exercise. I see that a lot. Just keep them relaxed and your arms straight, just dangling down. And all of the work comes from your legs and from your back. And now we move on to one-sided frontal or forward lunges. Now, did I say lunges? I mean lunges. With this one, you're gonna notice you have a lot of core activation because of course, for one, we are only having the weight on one side, which means that our oblique are gonna work over time to keep us upright so we don't fall to one side or the other. You also have additionally a lot of benefits when it comes to stabilization because you need to stay upright and you need to stay stable in your body so you don't topple over. To do a full set of these, you hold them in one hand, you step forward left side right side left side right side so you switch your feet with every single repetition and once you're done with an entire round for one side now you're gonna switch your hands and then you're gonna start all over again left foot right foot left foot right foot now for all the exercises that we are doing today 60 to 90 seconds per round which means that we're going more into a muscle endurance type of training and we're also going to be burning a lot of fat now moving on to the next exercise we have backwards diagonal lunges for those we're going to start again shoulder width apart and we also have the kettlebell only on one side so we get the additional benefit of insane core activation and for this one even more stabilization benefits because you're not only moving backwards but you're also moving diagonally to the side which means that you need a lot of coordination a lot of strength in your legs and in your glutes to push you away from the ground again and you also need to keep your back straight so your spinal erectors are working full time today you basically have your lower body included starting at your lower back all the way down with this exercise exercise circuit today and of course we're gonna switch from the left side to the right side and try and have the full range of motion meaning you need to bring your knee all the way to the ground and the further you step backwards you're gonna notice the more you have a little bit of a stretch in your hip flexors which is a nice benefit I would say. Now moving on we're gonna combine frontal and backwards lunges. Now instead of doing diagonal backwards lunges we're just gonna combine the 
classic forward and the classic backwards. What this does is increase our range of motion for a single movement. So we don't want you to put your foot down in between steps. We want to step from the back all the way to the front. And only after that, we're going to switch feet. With that, again, we have an included oblique workout or an included core workout because of the stabilization of the one-sided work. Then we have an increased range of motion from stepping from the back all the way to the front. And then we have added stabilization in our leg musculature because you are standing on one foot during most of the exercise. You're just touching down to push yourself away from the ground and most of it is just working with a single leg and this has amazing benefits for the stabilizers in your legs and now we can move on to squat variations we're going to start out with a closed squat variation meaning we close our legs fully and with this one we're going to do it a little bit different than most of the squats for this one we want to sit down all the way basically as the grass and at the very end of the movement we want to release the tension in our muscles meaning you sit down all the way and you can see here i release the tension fully and then i start building tension from the lowest point of the movement all the way to the top at the top of course i flex my quad and my glutes as we do with every kind of squat but with this one we have the relaxation in between and then we can move on to sumo squats so you're gonna open your legs you're gonna push your knees outwards and when it comes to where to point your knees you want them to follow your feet or your toes meaning the wider you have your feet turned outwards the more you have to push your knees out so you don't hurt yourself in your hips and with this one we want to have full range of motion full range of motion with squats means that you want to have your femur or your leg bone your upper leg bone at the very least parallel to the ground or even a slightly bit lower so you don't have too much pressure put on your knees which moves us to the static sumo squat basically open legs and just hold don't go too low just like this stay there for 30 seconds and to finish this first round off from the squat position now we're gonna switch and put up our feet from the left side to the right side and you're gonna notice this is gonna drain the last bit of energy you have left in your legs it is an amazing exercise for building calf strength and musculature as well as keeping those quads really tight and really strong during the exercise and that's basically it for me for today, exercise-wise. If you follow this routine, you can do two or three rounds of the whole exercise thing after each other. Maybe take a minute or two in between just to rest. If you want to go for real hypertrophy, increase the amount of weight that you're using, decrease the amount of repetitions. But as I said, 60 to 90 seconds per exercise and then moving on is going to be an insane training. You're going to feel your legs going to be burning so hard and you're going to regret it the next day but in a good way i hope at least and with that said if you like the video like the video subscribe i'm going to be doing kettlebell exercises every single week just like we do with yoga just like we do with pilates reformer just like we do with calisthenics so we have a huge library now man i have over 700 videos on this channel alone so check them out maybe you'll find something that you enjoy because you guys, you are my favorite people on YouTube, my viewers. You're my favorite. I can't, I'm not even making this up. So check out the rest of the video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow because new videos every day. Captain Cairo, peace out.